I'm Raleigh Kane, and I'm traveling the country to show you the best of America. And it's right here in your own backyard. Spotlight America. Spotlighting America, one community at a time. We're tasting new food, going on new adventures, exploring new places, and meeting new faces. This is America like you've never seen it. USA. You're watching Spotlight America. We're doing a special Colorado edition, and today we're in Gunnison, Colorado. We'll visit a rodeo, take a river ride on the rapids, and finish up with some shrimp puttanesca that I'll make with a little help from my pal, Garlic Mike. And today, we're in Gunnison, Colorado. <laughs> Beauty is everywhere in Gunnison County. But remember, take nothing but pictures and leave nothing but footprints so that future generations can continue to enjoy our heritage too. On this very site, in 1897, nothing happened. All aboard! In Gunnison, Colorado, the Old West is still alive. And as they say in Gunnison, the way it was is the way it still is. When you're gearing up for the right cowgirl duds, there's only one place to go. Western World in Gunnison, Colorado. I'm going to introduce you to Barb. She's the owner of Western World. Hi. She's going to help you on this shopping spree for uh, Kelma's Day's Duds to make you look a little more Western for the season. Okay, good, good. I need that. The royalty's going to help get, get you dudded up so that you look real Western for Cattleman's Days and to be the Grand Marshal of our rodeo. I'm going to be what? The Grand Marshal of our rodeo tonight. Get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Okay, so you guys have made me look really good now. You guys think I'm tough enough to wear pink? Okay. So I'm, I look good in pink? How do they look? Good except for the boots. Yeah, I probably should try the boxes. Do you think I got some boots? Belt. Ooh. Yeah, and I want like an awesome belt buckle like you guys. That looks really good. They you look ready to ride, but we gotta go because we gotta go get saddled for the parade. Okay, good luck. Have an awesome time. Thank you so much for my outfit. They gotta get out of here. Western World, Gunnison, Colorado. Let's go to the rodeo. Gunnison, Colorado is just a hop, skip, and a jump away from the ski town of Crested Butte. It has so many wonderful things. Later, we're gonna check out some river rafting. We're gonna wine and dine at Garlic Mike's on the river. But before that, we gotta go to the granddaddy of all rodeos, the Cattleman's Day Rodeo. This is Clay Collins, he's one of the finest bullfighters Hi, in the Clay. PRCA. Nice so you're riding bulls tonight? No, I'm no. a oh. bullfighter. Bullfighter, got it. Yep. Can I get on a bull? Can you get on a bull? Yeah. You know what, if who shot JR here, seriously, we've got one that's back there that you can pet. You can go right back there right now and pet him and rub on him and everything. And then when they buck him, he's, he's pretty mean. But really? Like right now, he's a big, huge old pet. Okay. So I'm going in to pet this lovely, sweet little bull that's going to be bucking off some cowboys later. So his name's Who Shot Jr. It is. All right. I'm too young to know that reference, but. Yeah. And you'll see him tonight. All right. He's just wanting you to rub him. <laughs> now tonight, here in a little bit, you're going to see a cowboy try to ride him. He's wanting you to rub his ears. Uh huh. Oh, he's so gentle. Yeah. <laughs> and then Don't later. Now, gonna... buddy, wait a little while. Yeah. Somebody's trying to ride him. Somebody's going to ride Who Shot Jr., but not this girl. <laughs> Riley, this is John Harrison. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. He's the grandson of the great Freckles Brown, champion world the great champion bull rider. Freckles Brown. Yeah. Nice. Absolutely. So what are you going to be doing in the rodeo tonight? You know, uh, we do everything. We walk and talk. We do the comedy throughout the rodeo. I'll be the guy dressed as the clown. Nice. And then uh, we'll take Gus here for a specialty act, and uh, we're actually going to do like comedy trick riding where the trick rider didn't show up, we filled in. Mm -hmm. And uh, kind of everything you try to teach your kids not to do growing up, that's what we're going to do. Okay, cool. So I'm going to put you up here and kind of show you um, a couple right. of things that we do. Let's go ahead and just crawl up there. Okay. He's a tall horse. Yep, he's a big horse. Alright. The, one of the first things that we uh, we learned in trick riding mm -hmm. is what we call a spin the horn. You'll notice it's got a six inch horn here. So you can get both hands on it. Yeah. So you're going to put your right hand on top. Okay. Bring this leg over the top of his neck. There you go, just like, like that. that. Now you're going to throw this leg, take it out of the stirrup, throw it up over the saddle horn and sit on his neck. Spin your body Complete all the way around. This way? Yep. You're gonna push. There you go. Keep both hands there. Just like that. Come yeah, around. Good job. There you go. Like that? Yep. Now you're gonna do the same thing. Roll that leg back over the saddle. Okay. Yep. 
push it, come right back in. That's a spin oh, Awesome. So try to get away. Okay, ready? One motion, ready, go. One motion? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Perfect, now do it again. That was better than around the back. That was good. This is like some exercises that we do when we warm up. Okay. Okay, Ready? my turn. Okay. Okay. You're gonna be in a fire, especially the egg. Okay. Three, three times, so. so. Three, three times. Okay. Around the saddle. All right. Spin the saddle. That's there you go. just. Yep. Put this horn, or leg right around front of the horn. There you go. Right around. Okay. Now you're gonna put your thumbs to the outside like that. Right. Rock your body right down. Push your torso, your legs. This one's a bit tricky. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Lock down, twist up. There you go. Oh, yes. Yeah. That stupid six inch horn. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. 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 You did it. Woo. There you go. Yeah. Ta da. Right. I did it. Right. So, can I ride in the rodeo now with you? Do you check this out? Oh my gosh. That was fun. Thank you. All right. Okay. Ta da! Oh, and he's gonna poop on me. <laughs> so, thank you so much. I learned some tricks on Gus here. We're gonna watch him later in the rodeo. Sounds good. <laughs> Welcome to Cabin's Day. <laughs> Raleigh, the fun's going to continue. We're going to we're, we're going to go to the. Uh, you're going to help me do a presentation for the uh, 4-H scholarships. Okay. That we give out two two thousand dollars scholarships every year, and then after that, we're going to get you involved in the uh, 4-H livestock auction. Ooh, I can handle that. <laughs> I'm going to be helping out with the livestock auction today, but before I head up and do that, Jen's going to take me up to hand out some scholarships on behalf of Cattlemen's Days. Anna Pike and Alexa Tudor. Congratulations. Congratulations on being chosen to receive the Cattlemen's Days Inc. and Concrete Systems Inc. 4-H and FFA scholarship for 2011. Jim, we'd really like to thank you for everything you've done for Tough Enough for Pink. So Spotlight wants to spotlight your efforts. And um, we have a little award for you. So let me get this. You're definitely tough enough to wear pink. So thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. All you can say is thank you very much. It's taken the dedication and the work of a lot of people to make this thing happen. So thank you very, very much. It's really special and a surprise. We thank you. Thank you. So of course it feels great to give away scholarships with Jim here, but it feels even better to award him for his efforts, for everything he's done for breast cancer and for Tough Enough to Wear Paint. Yeah. That felt really good. Grand Champion Market Pig went for $7.25 a pound, and the Grand Champion Market Lamb went for eleven twenty-five dollars a pound. Nice. So, good job. Thank you. I like to think I was part of that because of me. Have you enjoyed Saturday night at the Gunnison County yeah. PRCA Rodeo? Timmy, I'm going to be riding.
riding him out tonight as Grand Marshal in the Cattlemen's Day Rodeo. Mwah. This is going to be a good time. You're going to enjoy being the Grand Marshal. And our very special Grand Marshal tonight from Spotlight, Colorado, the host is Ronnie James. Dan, we're going to make her do something sad. Are you sure? <laughs> Look at her! Definitely tough enough to wear pink like Jim here. We gotta award him for his great efforts with raising money for breast cancer. I gotta hand out scholarships. I gotta auction off livestock. The bull that I pet just won. So thank you, Cattlemen's Day Rodeo, Gunnison, Colorado, USA. All right, so we're going down the Gunnison River. We've got some people in fire costumes. We got, um, I saw they don't have a costume, but it's high waters, it's gonna be fast, we're gonna race. I'm here in Gunnison, Colorado, going down the Gunnison River, here with my teammates, Anthony and Brad. Woo! We are going on the annual community river float. And we're gonna win! People who love the aura and authenticity of the West We'll find plenty of reasons to spend summer in Gunnison, Colorado. All right, so this is fun, but I understand there's a raft rodeo we're going to check out later, and Brad here is going to be competing in it, and you're going to win, right? Yes, we're going to win. We're going to start for the longest. We're going to spin, twirly, bird, three sixties. We may flip the raft, go upside down. We don't know. It's going to be crazy, just like you're out right now. <laughs> All right, let's All go right. Paddling. Oh my God. Alright guys, so what are we looking at? Palisades is Precambrian rock. The old as the Grand Canyon. Ooh. You can't climb it because it's volcanic formation. A lot of climbers wish they could. It's really cool. As crazy and exciting as this can be, it's also very relaxing. We're surrounded by the Gunnison beauty. I'm having a good time. We are gonna finish this, go watch Brad at the rodeo rafting, and then have a little fine dining at Garlic Mike's on the river. rafting rodeo. We got guys in kayaks doing flips and trying to stay above the current. We're going to look for our guy Brad that was on our tube earlier. He was an expert there. Let's see how he does solo on the kayak. Alright, so what's your name? My name is Craig Lechner. Craig, and how did you do? Did you do flips and stuff? I did flips and twists and turns. Yeah? yeah? Does the color orange like make your performance even better? Way better. I bet. I like orange. Yeah. So how long have you been kayaking? Uh, seven years. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. And is this, how many times have you done the river raft rodeo? Um, I've never been in the Gunnison River Festival, so this is my first time here. So are you going to go on to win this whole thing, hopefully? I am in first right now. I mean, you're in so first, right, in now? first right, now. right now? And I have the honor of talking to you? Yeah. We got two awesome. more rides. 
What are your strategies like when you're doing like do you get points for how many flips you do or you get just points for all the different, different tricks that you do and the difficulty of the tricks. What's your favorite trick? Favorite trick in a whole I guess would be the McNasty. The McNasty? McNasty. Well, Alright, explain the McNasty. It starts in a back surf and uh -huh. it's 180 degree spin uh, that finishes in a front flip. Yeah. Alright, well good luck. Thanks. I hope you win the whole thing. Alright, so our boy Craig is going in right now. He's standing in first place. He's already done the Godzilla, the McNasty, the front loop. There's only one thing left. He's going for the tricky one. Oh! Oh! He's sails into no hands on his Woo! paddle. Judges and the crowd love that move right there. Yeah! Woo! Craig came in first place. He did it with the tricky woo. Well done. Well done. Well done. All right, so these guys were awesome, very cool to watch. Um, I'd definitely get back out there, but one thing, I don't want to. So we're going to slow it down a little bit and head to Garlic Mike. Gunnison is all about the river. Whether you're fly fishing, river rafting, or rodeo rafting, at the end of the day, it's time to relax. And when you get off the river, there's only one place to go, Garlic Mike. You can call me anything you want, okay. but actually Mike is good. Mike is wonderful. Mike. All right. So Garlic Mike, tell us a little bit about your place. What are we going to, can we cook today? Can you show me how to we're cook? We're actually going to make some shrimp puttanesca over fettuccine, and we're going to make it out by the river. Can we take you guys out by the river if you follow me? I would love that. We'll go by the river. Let's go make Let's some go by the shrimp puttanesca fettuccine. Got my tongs. Okay, we're gonna do some. Okay. Did I already say this shrimp puttanesca? Yes, shrimp puttanesca. And I already told you what puttanesca means. Did I tell Please you? Please tell me. What I don't remember. Mean? Puttanesca is ladies of the evening. Mm -hmm. So in between so-called well, exactly. dates or tricks, they would make this this sauce. It's a very um, I don't want to say hearty. It's a very I don't know, just delicious. It's um, very puttanesca. -y puttanesca. Sauce. Okay, are we gonna okay. cook or are yes, we gonna talk? Let's cook. Okay, we're gonna right. do some olive oil. Oh, here okay. you go. Yes, please. It's I gonna be very, it. very hot. So all of the careful. olive oil? Yeah, put it all. Sure. Why not? It's extra virgin. Actually, I don't use like to use extra virgin when I'm sautéing because it gets really? too hot and it burns too fast. Is that what happens? Because every time I cook in it, like pops. Yeah, you, well, because okay. you probably have a dirty pan, maybe. So, okay, I'm gonna do the shrimp because I don't want you to get burnt. Or okay. do you want to do the shrimp? I want to do it. Do it. Just, Can I do just do it close here, to the pan. Here, we'll Hold share. This. Oh, okay. We're gonna do it like you, that. Yeah. So at home, when you're making this, you're gonna get the pan really hot. Sauté means to jump. Ready? We're gonna jump. Sauté! We're gonna, we're gonna jump. Okay. Why don't we switch? Okay. You put the garlic. Can you find the garlic? Mm hmm. Put some all garlic right. in there. Throw it all right in there. All of it? I Throw love right garlic, Mike. Yes, yes. <laughs> Get okay. it? Garlic, Mike. <laughs> oh, I love garlic, comma, Mike. Mike. All right, um, anchovies. Okay. You're gonna love anchovies they... after this. But they're gonna cook yeah. right into the sauce and you, Baby you'll, fish. you'll never know. You'll never know. See I like they, Caesar salad. So. Well, there you go. That has anchovies in it. Yeah. See how the anchovies are kind of melting in there? Yeah. So there you go. Does that not hurt so, your hand? No, no, no. I have customers that say no anchovies, and they never know, actually. Nice. <laughs> so there you go. Now you know. We're going to do some capers. Okay. And they're probably going to pop. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Running around there. Okay, capers and then some olives. Mm. And see how the garlic is starting to burn? When the garlic starts to burn, it doesn't taste good. So you want to make okay. sure you get everything okay. in there. And to cool off the pan, to prevent mm -hmm. the garlic from cooking, you're going to pour a splash of wine in there. Do okay. about a third of that. What kind of white wine do you use? Or just a general, like... Put it over there, over the oh, garlic. Okay. There you go. We use, um, this is actually a, um, I'd say a nice Pinot Grigio. Mm. Wonderful. You know, if you ever see puttanesca made with Alfredo sauce, then they're not Italian. They're Italian. Okay. So there's a difference. There's okay. See so yeah, how the stupido. shrimp is cooking nice in there? Yeah, 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 yeah stupid. Okay, so clam juice. Okay. Clam juice, yummy. Clam juice from our clams from the river. So, <laughs> that's good, yeah. That's a, not all of it, but that, we'll use it oh. all. <laughs> you didn't now we say. Have, we have puttanesca soup. It'll be wonderful. And this is good. You know what? Throw all that in there because yeah. we have, since we have so much clam since juice in there. You gotta okay. tell me measurements yes. before you say yes. throw it I in. Know. Just, just I'm not in. Italian. I'm and not born with this knowledge. <laughs> so now at home, this really would only this should only take oh I don't know less than ten minutes to cook. Because uh -huh. when you're sautéing stuff, you're gonna have all of your ingredients ready, which is called a mise en place mm -hmm. in French. That's called a mise, to, en place. To put, mise en place to put in place. Anyway, that's all gonna be together, and you're just gonna quickly sauté all this. So we're gonna toss this in there. So, <laughs> one by one, we're going to toss it in there, okay? Here, right. th toss that in there. 
<laughs> Sorry, I <laughs> better off that one. You mm-hmm. off that yeah. one. That's good. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's good. That's All it. Right. That's it. Yay. And we're going to plate it up, okay? So we're going to. The shrimp is cooked. You're not going to kill me. In a nice clean bowl. <laughs> Look at that clean bowl. Okay. <laughs> okay. You want to plate it up? Yep. So grab your tongs. Okay. And then grab those things. <laughs> but I'm here all week. Try the veal. Okay. Whoops. I'm going to have to wipe the edge of the plate. And that's ah, it. That's all wah. she wrote. So there we go. There we Manja go. Manja e zitto. You know what that means? Mm-mm. Shut up and eat. Manja e sta... Stata zitto. Stata zitto. Yes. Mmm. Well, look mm. at that. Salute. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. Really clean. A lot of clam juice in there. But really good. That came out pretty good. Yeah. I did. Outside for your mm. first time cooking. Olive and basil. And olives. Mm. And basil. And shrimp. Mm. All right, garlic Mike, I had a great time. This tastes wonderful. Thank you. And I loved the little cooking demonstration. So after a long day on the river, the only place to go was garlic Mike's. For lunch and dinner and brunch, perhaps. <laughs> what do you think? Ciao, Bella. Ciao. <laughs> You know what that means? Shut up and eat. There you go. There you go. I'm Raleigh Kane, and you're watching Spotlight America. We're always looking for unique places to visit. If you think we should shine a spotlight on your community, we'd like to hear from you. Let us know by going to spotlightamerica.tv.